My name is Mathieu Crepel. I'm from France. I'm 23 years old. And I'm here in a Terrace BC for my first time, uh, shooting for my part for a standard film next movie. We've been out two days already. Hopefully we're gonna get some some more good days. It's dumping hard right now in the in the Alpine and stuff, so pretty excited. Sometimes, uh, like for uh, the, the mass people that don't really know uh, snowboarding, it's kind of hard for them to understand because there are two really important parts of it. It's the contest part, which everybody kind of understands because like alpine skiing and everything goes the same way. And then the whole uh, image thing, which uh, is filming and, and shooting photos for the magazines and stuff like this. And uh, I think that's as important as a, as a contest. And uh, yeah, I, I I'd like really to have a, a good part, show a, a little bit of my uh, of my skills. I'd like to have a uh, our crew building for us. We gotta get this lip going, give it some time to settle, and then uh, all we need is the weather, really. And then we will send it. FedEx overnight. The shot's all about the height and the snap of the max out the landing for how high it can go. Yeah, I think jump is done. We add a um, little more pop to the lip. And the clouds are moving up, and we can see the backdrop. Uh, Vancouver, oh, the ocean, pretty sick. So uh, hopefully it's gonna be good. And now I just took a really chill, watched the movie and stuff, and now check the weather and it seems like it's gonna be good. Gotta be pretty on point, a little bit stretching, and then we can go film again. Should be good. This city gets hit with snow probably like once or twice a year, so this was my only chance to go and, and check it out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a pretty late night mission again. I found this last summer again, this spot, and I kinda wanna slide that thing across from this side to that side. And I was just asking Yaka if he thinks it's gonna look good in the video, if not, cause I don't wanna fall all the way there for nothing, you know? We're not sure if it looks big enough. When you look at it, look at the spot when you get there, but through the camera, through the lens, it always makes it look a little bit smaller. Posse here, he has his steel camera, and, and if it looks good, then I grab my camera and see how it looks through that. Not 
You know, going to the Open for so many years, I've seen how tough it is for local kids. It's like when, you know, a football player is playing the Super Bowl in their hometown and everybody wants tickets and to hang out. And once they finally get over the hump, I mean, you know, the victory is so sweet. But it's, I think it'll always be one of the most fun events for a Vermont rider, but at the same time, you know, the most challenging. But Kevin will bust through that. Hey, he's all stepped in, so whatever you guys are going After Vermont, we went up to AK. Quick trip for Burton to film for the video and ended up building a jump the last day and went a little too far and hurt my knee pretty bad. So I uh, had to go down to SoCal to get it checked out. Went to uh, this place called CORE. It's a kind of hospital, but they more specialize in action sport athletes. It was pretty hard going in there just cause you know, I have so many things planned for the upcoming month and in a blink of an eye, it could all be over and I could be on the couch for the rest of the year. Probably going to end up just being a big, bad bruise on the inside of your knee. On an MRI and an x-ray, and it turned out that nothing was blown. And yeah, I was kind of worried because I didn't think that I was going to get to go on that bus tour just because my knee hurt so bad. But it turned out that it all worked out and got to go up to Tahoe and meet up with everyone for the tour.